I think that the issue of finding a balance between deregulation, freedom, encouraging enterprise, and on the other hand, making sure that there's a regulatory framework so that the whole system doesn't get out of control uh, is a tough balance, but I think it can be done. So for example, you can have, in the economy, you can have relatively free markets, but you always need some framework within which they have to operate. Uh, similarly, in the financial system, competition among financial institutions is very good for consumers and for the way we allocate capital. But on the other hand, banks need to be regulated in terms of capital and liquidity and compensation structures and so on. I'm not a citizen of Upper Austria, but uh, I've loved coming to Upper Austria. Uh, <clears throat> I think one thing, if I was in politics in Upper Austria, I would be concerned about, given the speed at which the economy is changing, and the amount of innovation that we have. It's very important that children who are in school today and who may not end up as university graduates, it's very important that they are properly trained in technical training, vocational training. I would put a real priority on that. Secondly, when it comes to deregulating institutions. I think in Britain, with Mrs. Thatcher, we made some mistakes there. I think there were mutual organizations and social institutions which we should not have privatized. Some things we should have privatized, like steel, British Airways and so on. But there were other things we shouldn't have privatized. So I would be cautious about deregulation. It provides benefits but you can also easily overdo it.